Hello, family and friends, and welcome to the Emmanuel Pearl Gate Daily Devotional for today. We pray that your spirit will be fed so you will be able to go through the day with Jesus on your mind and the power of the Holy Spirit in your heart. Feel free to visit us at www.epbcsf.com to learn more about us and to virtually worship with us through our virtual video library. Enjoy today's devotional. Week 15, Tuesday. Today's topic, Walking in Darkness. Upon the upright, there arises light in the darkness. He is gracious and full of compassion and righteousness. A good man deals graciously and lends. He will guide his affairs with discretion. He will not be afraid of evil tidings. His heart is steadfast trusting in the Lord. Psalms 112 verse 4 through 5 and verse 7. Every person experiences darkness in life. At times it seems the tide has gone out and refuses to come back in. In these dark times, Christians can easily forget basic truths about their Father in Heaven. Maybe we need a reminder. Hmm. In today's text, the psalmist declared three truths about our God. Our God is gracious to His children. This means God pours out His favor on us even when we are unable to recognize that blessing coming from Him. He never stops extending grace to us. He always longs to bless us. God shows compassion to His children. When we hurt, God feels our pain and responds with tender mercies. He heard the Israelites' cry of pain from Egypt. Jesus felt compassion as he stood before the grave of Lazarus and watched how death impacted those whom he loved. On our darkest days, our Lord still has sweet compassion as we suffer. God is righteous. He can never be credited with evil, but is always crowned with good. We can always trust the sands of circumstances that sift through His perfect hands. Yes, we sometimes walk in darkness, but we do not walk alone. God guides His children through the trials of life. Father God, Help me never to forget basic truths about your grace, compassion, and righteousness. It is in the mighty and matchless name of my Savior, Jesus Christ, that I pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in with us on today. We pray that you enjoy today's devotional and that it will be a blessing on your life. These devotionals are broadcast Monday through Saturday. So remember to tune in for our next devotional. For information, you can contact us at www.epbcsf.com. May God bless you and continue to keep you. Until next time. Be blessed.